Good morning, friends. It's a new week. It's Monday, January 6th. Wow. Okay, let's see. Courage to change. I have my coffee. Mm. I'm going to take a drink. Mm -hmm. So good. I'm not a life coach. I'm not a therapist. I'm a mom. My name is Ina Irby. And here we go. Courage to change. Between meetings, I need to keep in close touch with other Al-Anon members by telephone. Like many who have been affected by alcoholism, when I came into the program, I was tremendously overburdened. Lots of patient listening at the other end of the line continues to help me get these burdens off my chest. Sharing Al-Anon recovery by telephone allows me to reach out to someone else for support. The person I am talking to is not my counselor, confessor, or problem solver, nor is he or she obliged to sit and listen to all my sob stories. Instead, this person may help me reason things out. Sometimes I'll be reminded of an al idea or tool that will enable me to gain some perspective on my situation. I am not given advice about what I should do or should not do. That is for me to decide. By the time the conversation is over, I've usually found some relief from the problem that had seemed so enormous while it stayed trapped inside my head. Today's reminder, it is my responsibility to solve my own problems with the help of the God of my understanding. Since God often speaks through other people when I reach out and make an al call, I become willing to receive that help. William Ernest Hawking is quoted, quote, we cannot climb up a rope that is attached only to our own belt, end quote. It's William Ernest Hawking we cannot climb up a rope that is attached only to our own belt. Courage to change. <sighs> January 6th, uh, affirmations for the inner child. Order. My adolescent within is learning order. As a teenager, I hated it when my mom told me to clean my room. It was my room, wasn't it? I could decide how I wanted to live. So in rebellion, I made certain my room was always a mess. Shoes and clothes and worse strewn on the floor. As an adult, I'm still stuck with my rebellious teenager. Sometimes I think his piles of trash will bury me. Cleaning up after him leaves me angry and exhausted. Today, I will take control of my environment. I no longer have to feel overwhelmed by the enormity of housekeeping tasks. I make my own messes and I will clean them up. When I have finished using something, I will put it back. I make sure I'm not inadvertently bringing the outside inside. I will work with instead of against myself. Today, my environment will reflect my inner accord. Okay, friends, 
I hope this helps you on your healing journey. Follow your bliss and be good humans. <laughs>